Hi guys, I'm back with another Corgi review and today it won't be anything from Batman but it is my very very cool limited edition era Sean Connery set. Now Corgi did a few of these um, for each James Bond actor. You could have a Roger Moore set, Pierce Brosnan set and a Sean Connery set. The Pierce Brosnan one consisted of the Aston Martin V12 Vanquish from Die Another Day which I actually had back when they first came out. I bought it separately, but as I was really young, I ended up breaking it. And they had a Jaguar XKR, that I never bought. The Roger Moore one had a Lotus Esprit from Spy Who Love Me, and the Lotus from uh, Fiora Eyes Only, except that one didn't have the whole water thing going on. And this is the Sean Connery one, which I will show you now. Um, I got this about three years ago maybe, three and a half years ago, four years ago, something like that, from Model Zone, a shop that has now closed down and restarted within WH Smith or something. Anyway, um, they were selling these for about 25 or 30 pounds each. I wish I would have ended up getting more, but instead I just got this and I bought a uh, normal one separately. So I thought I could have another one in a box. But this is the Sean Connery one, as you can see here it says Collector 136 scale highly detailed die cast models. The, um, got the barrel thing with the Sean Connery shooting his gun, Sean Connery limited edition era, Corgi logo 007. Got like a scope logo in the background, it looks very cool. On the top you've just got like the same thing. Bottom, all your copyright what have you about Aston Martin, showing you when it was made, die cast collector, wall, Hornby, all that. On the side you just have this, working features, worldwide limited edition, what have you. And here is the back, you get a very, very lengthy kind of synopsis thing, just detailing the cars. So if you want to read this, I recommend you pause it, because I'll be here all day otherwise. Very nice picture of Sean Connery from From Russia With Love, if I'm not mistaken. And um, yeah, now it has a magnet located just here. You can see it there, and when you open it, oh, before I do actually, this box does have a little bit of wear and tear um, from being stored and what have you, but it's still in decent condition, but when you open it, here we go, it looks very cool, you get Sean Connery written there, the Aston Martin DB5 from Goldfinger, and the Rolls Royce Phantom 3 from 1937 if I'm not mistaken. In fact, it's written on the bottom of the car. I can have a check later. And here we have um, your kind of uh, certificate of authenticity, in a sense. To, to commemorate Sean Connery's role as James Bond, Corgi has issued this gift set comprising of Aston Martin DB5 from Goldfinger Thunderball, Rolls Royce 3, Sendes de Vue from Goldfinger, and original movie art reproductions. And some cold stuff there. It says limited edition set. Two thousand four hundred and thirty. Pretty decent number considering there were two thousand five hundred worldwide. And yeah, these are the movie holsters which you can remove. Very simply, just simply like so. And if I just move this away to the back, it's uh, in this kind of wrapping here, and you can take it out like so. And here we have. Dr. No, first James Bond film adventure, looks very cool, there you go, here we have From Russia With Love, which also looks very cool, and I will try and get onto the cars as soon as possible, here we have James Bond is back in action, everything he touches turns into excitement, my favourite James Bond film as well by the way, and uh, the best poster I think is the Thunderball one, I love Thunderball, Thunderball is an amazing film. There he's on his jetpack, fighting underwater with a few women. Typical James Bond. And um, to put these back where they were, you just simply kind of tuck the corners in here. And then you would do the same thing up here on this corner, like so. And just make sure they're all flush and what have you. I can just quickly do that off camera. So I will have a bit more space to work with. 
There we go. It's all sorted out and they fit very nicely back in here. Oh yeah, that is a very nice thing. All the other ones had it as well. So yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. But anyway, to open it, you just simply pull from here. And then just slide it out. And it's also worth noting, you can see how similar the packaging this was to something they had already previously released via Batman Bronze Age, which I reviewed just yesterday. So yeah, you can see it's pretty similar and what have you, like the way they set the cars out. So yeah, you can see they use the same sort of design, but you know what, I like the design. It's kind of cheap that they just use cardboard here, but you can't see it when it's in its package. And here we have just instructions for the DB5. And this just comes off like so. And these I will just put to the side for a second. Oh dear. And here we have got the Rolls Royce Phantom 3 and the DB5. Now I'll just quickly say a piece about the DB5. This DB5, as you can see here, has got all of its original elastication stuff all on it. As you can see, you can't work anything such as the uh, bulletproof windshield, the uh, battering rams and what have you. They're locked into place. Similarly with the... Uh, Got what's it called now? The um, ejector seat, as you can see here. So yeah, this one is really, really crisp. It even smells new. It's kind of weird, but yeah, it does. So yeah, that I just leave in there. And I feel like an idiot because I take the Rolls Royce out for display purposes. So it makes me think I should have just ended up buying this set and a Roger Moore one instead of buying this set and a separate db5 one as you can see here but regardless um since i've already reviewed the db5 in a separate video here is the extremely extremely beautiful rolls royce just to make sure i get it right no it's not phantom 3 never mind it's just rolls royce 3 um what's it called sendes deville 1937 i got the date right at least and it is Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, from the uh, start from the front, it looks extremely beautiful. AU1, which was a uh, Auric Goldfinger's number plate, and the headlights, which look very nice, the uh, Rolls Royce logo as well, it looks absolutely superb. Feel a bit like James May now, but it's absolutely beautiful. You've got your spare tyres here, which can actually be removed if you unscrew it and what have you. White wall tyres, how can you not like them? Very thin with nice treads, which you know the cars will like, these Rolls Royce as well. In here, as you can see, we've got the steering wheel and the dashboard and what have you. On the correct side, I'd like to also add, now I'm starting to sound a bit like Clarkson. But yeah, it's just beautifully done here, as you can see as well very very nice gloss even the yellow is a gloss it comes out a bit more yellowy in camera than it does in person but in person it's uh, it's pretty close to the yellow on uh, this actually in person it's relatively close but anyway god it truly is beautiful you can see where the detail is for where the door would be a petrol filler cap you can see how the doors would open the opposite way, which Rolls Royces do quite often. You've got plastic uh, bumper, which is alright. Great Britain logo, the boot logo. I mean, the boot where Bond obviously puts that uh, big magnet thing to track them in his DB5. And you can see the detail inside there from handles to open the door and what have you. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, this is quite thick plastic actually for the glass. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and it's very weighty and it's practically all die cast. Literally apart from the insides and uh, the uh, front bumper. 
this is die cast as well at the front here and I didn't mention it but if you look very very carefully look at that a Rolls Royce logo that is absolutely beautiful this is precisely why I love Corgi so this is fantastic as far as sets go I would give this a blatant 10 out of 10 I absolutely love it to pieces I'd highly recommend you pick it up I mean same like all my other Corgi products they stopped making these in fact they don't even make James Bond cars anymore I think the last one they made was the Sky 4 DB5 fully prepared for these reviews bringing all of my Corgis with me um, so I, I absolutely love this car as a whole and what I like in model cars is how well they roll is just something of mine and considering this is a Rolls Royce it rolls beautifully no problem whatsoever absolutely gorgeous gorgeous car I would highly recommend you pick this up as it's beautiful like I said I'd give this car a 10 out of 10 by itself and another side note, if you buy it separately, you do get an odd job little figure thing. Not to sit inside the car, but like to stand next to it. Which I like, because it'd kind of ruin it if he was just sitting in it. Not that I have anything against odd job, he's cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review. I absolutely love this piece. It is beautiful. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And uh, be sure to keep your eye out for more videos and take care.